to show you the seriousness of this. So if you have not yet believed in this, I urge you to stay at home. Hello, my wonderful people. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Please do accept my greetings according to your location. If it is your first time of coming across my channel, you are highly welcome. Please, I beg you for a favor, subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red button that says subscribe. Beside the red button is a notification bell. The essence of that bell is for you to get updated each time or day I upload a new video so that you will be the first person to check it out. And those that have been with me ever since I started my channel, thank you so much. Those that are sharing my videos, thank you. I beg you to continue to share it and God will continue to bless you for me. So in this video, I just laugh because Nigeria will not cease to amaze me. Nigeria is a very funny country, you know. In Nigeria, everything is possible. If you guys can remember, I made a video about the arrival of Chinese doctor in Nigeria. I was like saying that Nigeria do not need any help from China china and the doctors arrived now the nigerians uh, government is denying that they do not know where about this chinese <laughs> doctor that they brought into the country isn't this funny i'd like to know the whereabouts of the chinese doctors yes um i'd like to know where they are now where are they operating from well i want to explain first of all that I think not all of them were doctors, and I think that uh, I heard that there are some of them are technicians, but they are staff of CCCC. Uh, the Minister of Health is not their host, so we can't always explain what happened to them or where they are. Did you hear what the Minister of Health just said? He said that he thinks that it's not all of them that are medical practitioners, that some are technicians. So they do not know the people they brought into the country when they were claiming that they need help since they have experienced it that they can help to fight or to support them. Now they are denying that they are not the one that brought them. They don't know they are aware about that the uh, uh, minister of health or whosoever is not the host. Then who is the host? Who are those people that welcome them in from the airport? Who are those people? In fact, eh, everybody cannot be fooled, you know? If you think that you don't know anything, look at how reliable these people could be. Are you guys seeing or notice? Oh, he went further to claim that they were not the people or the ones that invited the Chinese, that the Chinese decided to come on their own. While the Chinese doctors also claim that they were invited by the Nigerian government and the Nigerian government is denying it. Isn't this uh, funny or something? <laughs> I'm going to be placing the video here so that the two videos, I will place the one that the Minister of Health said when he said they didn't invite Niger the Chinese, that the Chinese came on their own. And you will also hear what the Chinese ambassador to Nigeria said when he was being questioned during an interview with Task Force. He said that they were invited that the chinese never imposed their coming to nigeria of which i believe him you cannot just come into a country like that without being invited well, minister you applauded nigerian doctors for doing well in handling this crisis so why bring in the chinese doctors at this time well in the first place we didn't bring them in i think the company in its own wisdom and probably in its own corporate uh, uh, responsibility, social co uh, responsibility, thought they should bring people to come and help us and advise. We didn't issue any invitation, but we are not unhappy that they are here because we can learn from their experience. These people have been through it. We want to start with a video conference. Did you hear him? He said that the country did not invite them, that they decided on their own to come and help Nigeria. <laughs> so, I am going to play the video of the ambassador of Chinese to Nigeria so that you will hear what he has to say 
about this claim because he was asked by the interviewer if they were invited by the Nigerian government. You will listen. Let's continue this uh, story. <laughs> You Simple. say Nigeria requested for this, for the help, for the aid? China will never impose anything. I would like to see more of this just coming from Nigeria. Uh, first time I met Tate Tate with the Minister of Health since early February. And uh, I appreciate the strong support for us from him and the government. And in, uh, in recently, during our discussion, we share the Chinese experience and what we can do for Nigeria. This didn't stop here when he was asked why did he or they allow the Chinese doctor to choose the isolation center by themselves in which country do this type of thing happen in which country do a foreigner have the right to decide where they will choose as an isolation center you will hear what he said just listen to the point he gave that uh, made them to choose by themselves where they are going to be isolated the joke continues well what we know is that uh, they uh, before they arrive we give them the message that uh, in our country, when you come in from uh, outside, particularly from a high burden country, you will isolate for 14 days. And we also ask the Nigeria Center for Disease Control to go and look at the isolation center even before they arrived. So that was uh, done. Allowed to choose where they will be isolated for those 14 days. Oh, okay, because they have. Yes, I understand. They have a large compound. They have a facility, a, a medical facility. Has more equipment or more compound, as he said, more than Nigeria. That is why they should be allowed to decide or de de to determine what they should do in a foreign country. Which country does that? Tell me. And this video or all these uh, things that they are doing had made me to come to realize or understand how unreliable our leaders are. You know, ever since this issue of we don't know we are about the Chinese doctor that safely landed in Nigeria, in Abuja to be precise, and then we are welcomed by a group of people and the same people are now saying that they do not know yeah, we are about. Isn't this funny? In which country will this happen? In any country, once you are arrived, you are checking or everything about you, wherever you are, wherever you are going, will be listed. But they are claiming that they do not know their where about. Even during an interview with the Minister of Health, he said that many people are interested in knowing the where about of the Chinese doctor. I think that is the reason why they are denying that they do not know their whereabouts but in a civilized country the citizen need to know the whereabouts of the foreigners who claim that they are coming to assist you and they are hiding it the first time they said they do not invite they didn't invite or give them visa and you watch the video, you heard what the ambassador of China to Nigeria said that China cannot impose themselves on Nigeria, which means Nigeria requested for their coming. And when they came, they choose by themselves the place that they will be isolated. And now they are claiming that they do not no, they are we are about Nigeria. Which way are we? Which way are we? Our leaders lack the ability of um, reliability and accountability in any country that things are not transparent. For these Chinese entered Nigeria, the Nigerians has been rejecting, saying that they do not need help from. Chinese. Of course, I think as it is, every country needs to be on its own. Solve this problem on your own because I can see that none of the countries in the world has the solution of what we are passing through. So every country, everybody needs to stay in his or her own country and face it alone 
So these people came into Nigeria. I don't know what they want to achieve or their 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 purpose of coming here. The one that got me laughing was when the minister of health said that he thinks that not all of them are medical practitioners. That some are <laughs> some are technicians. <laughs> that some are technicians. Early before they said that these people are, are medical practitioners, professionals, biologists, and epidemiologists. Now he the same person that said this is also saying that he thinks he thinks that some of them are technicians. What a funny country. Anyway, I would like to stop here. If you know what you think about this video, write your comments down below. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I beg you to do that. Until we meet again in my next video, please help me to share this video across to your friends and families. Bye-bye.